Well, what about Medicare? Will Medicare pay for the nursing home? No. Typically, um, what happens with Medicare is we have to have a three-night hospital stay. We have to be admitted to the hospital. And then after those three nights or, or longer, Medicare will pay for up to 100 days of, of care. Medicare will pay for up to 100 days or three months, shall we say, of rehab. So not, not four or five years, but a ma maximum of 100 days. And even it's worse than that because even after 21 days, Medicare can come in and, and uh, do a medical exam. And if Medicare finds that the person is not continuing to improve with rehab, then after 21 days, they can cut the, the Medicare off. Um, the VA will talk a little bit about, uh, are any of you uh, veterans here today? Okay, great. So we'll, we'll definitely cover, um, there are benefits available for veterans under certain circumstances, which I will touch on, which can be very useful. But if we don't have either one of those, what about private insurance? Anthem, Optima, Blue Cross, will that pay for the nursing home? No. <coughs> Same with HMOs. So basically what it comes down to is us. It comes down to you and your family uh, footing the bill for the costs, and we refer to that as private pay. And another reason why I started um, doing these workshops is I saw this time and time again where families, perhaps adult children, would come to me and say, you know, we've done this. We've perhaps they're planning for their parents and they would say, you know, we've mom and dad, they've spent down all their savings, they've sold the house, all the money's gone now, they're they're basically broke. Would you please apply for Medicaid for us? So I hope what you'll take away from today is we don't have to do that. We don't have to spend everything down to nothing and then go on Medicaid. With pre-planning, that's the key there is pre-planning, um, we, we, there are definitely other alternatives, other strategies that we can use. One of those I mentioned earlier is long-term care insurance. That's certainly useful under the right circumstances. Big problem, though, with that insurance is if we take it out in our 50s and 60s, because the premiums are only going to go up, I've never seen them go down. So someone in their 70s or even up into their 80s, those premiums are going to be double, triple, or more of the initial uh, premiums when they took the policy out. So that can be certainly be cost prohibitive, um, that type of insurance, if you're, if you're able to get it. <coughs> 